John Eller Taylor's The Sagacity and Morality of Plants, a sketch of the life and conduct of the vegetable kingdom, presents a unique perspective on the world of plants, delving into their intricate lives and moral conduct. The author, with a blend of scientific observation and imaginative storytelling, invites readers to reconsider the nature of these seemingly passive organisms. The novel opens with an intriguing proposition, that plants possess sagacity and morality. Taylor's narrative style combines elements of botanical science and allegorical fiction to weave a captivating tale of the vegetable kingdom. Through vivid descriptions and personification, he paints a picture of plants as sentient beings with a moral code governing their interactions. The central theme revolves around the idea that plants exhibit intelligence and ethical behavior in their daily lives. Taylor personifies various plant species, endowing them with emotions, thoughts, and a sense of right and wrong. This anthropomorphic approach not only makes the subject matter accessible to a broader audience but also challenges preconceived notions about the limitations of plant life. The author employs a wide array of botanical knowledge to support his claims. He details the physiological processes of plants, such as photosynthesis and respiration, and integrates these scientific concepts seamlessly into the narrative. This scientific foundation adds credibility to the fantastical elements of the story, blurring the lines between fact and fiction. Furthermore, Taylor draws parallels between the behavior of plants and human morality, creating an allegorical framework that encourages readers to reflect on their own ethical choices. The novel becomes a metaphorical exploration of human nature through the lens of the vegetable kingdom. By attributing virtues and vices to plants, Taylor prompts readers to reconsider their relationships with the natural world and question the hierarchical distinctions between living organisms. The characters in the novel are not human, but various plant species with distinct personalities and traits. From the wise and benevolent oak tree to the cunning and manipulative ivy vine, each character represents a facet of the moral spectrum. Taylor skillfully uses these characters to convey moral lessons and explore the consequences of virtuous or unethical behavior within the plant community. As the narrative unfolds, Taylor introduces conflicts and dilemmas that mirror human societal issues. The struggle for sunlight, competition for resources, and alliances formed among plants create a rich tapestry of moral complexity. Through these allegorical scenarios, the author prompts readers to contemplate the ethical implications of their own actions and consider the interconnectedness of all living beings. The novel's tone oscillates between whimsical and didactic, as Taylor seamlessly transitions between scientific exposition and moral fable. The integration of botanical facts with imaginative storytelling not only educates the reader but also fosters a sense of wonder about the natural world. The author's ability to balance entertainment with thought-provoking content makes The Sagacity and Morality of Plants a unique and engaging read. In conclusion, John Eller Taylor's novel offers a thought-provoking exploration of the intelligence and morality of the plant kingdom. By combining scientific knowledge with allegorical storytelling, the author challenges readers to re-evaluate their perceptions of plants and their place in the moral order of the world. This literary journey into the lives of sentient plants serves as a metaphorical mirror, reflecting back on human behavior and morality.